So far, 83 non-fatal shootings and 22 homicides in just under eight and a half months in New Haven, on pace to far exceed last year's totals. And the mayor believes services having been interrupted due to COVID contributes. Violence interru interruption projects and activities like parole and probation custom visits, street outreach workers, Project Safe Neighborhoods, Project Long Longevity, those types of things. Today it was announced more assistance is on the way for the police department shooting task force. Incorporated our surrounding towns, state police, um, the state's attorney to be able to enhance the unit. Um, we know that the crime that happens in New Haven doesn't just stay in New Haven. The state police will be joining the task force effective tomorrow with at least three troopers. So the personnel that we have assigned are familiar with the city? And they're familiar with New Haven Police Department, and they worked in the past, and you know will continue to. What they focus on are um, shots fired, where no one was struck. But even with these types of shootings, it's important the source is found to avoid something potentially more dangerous down the road. And they will also be assigned cases. Um, non-fatal shooting cases, depending if there's a linkage. Maybe there's a linkage through ballistics for another case and kind of putting it all together. Yesterday, New Haven opened applications for the police department, which is nearly 100 officers short of what they're budgeted for. But the chief says this rise in violence seems to be inspiring city residents to apply. With four of the five new officers sworn in last week being from New Haven. People want to be able to get involved and to give back to the community. Because city residents have requested more frequent crime updates, the city will oblige with a weekly press conference on Friday mornings at 1030 beginning next week, September 24th. Here in New Haven, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.